Buenos dias. Good morning, guys. It is, what is today? Friday? It's Friday. Getting ready to go to work. Uh, 5.30 in the freaking morning. Uh, so, uh, just sitting here talking to Brittany. She's on her, she's, the, they're still on their way to Atlanta. And I'm going to work. So, I don't know if, uh, if it's just really early or really late at this point. <laughs> To be honest, because she hasn't been to bed, and I'm just waking. I just got up, so yeah, they decided to leave at one o'clock this morning instead of leaving at eleven o'clock, like they said. So means five thirty in the morning. They're still driving to Georgia for uh, so and so's graduation, whatever. Uh, so I just texted her this morning and said good morning, and she's like, morning. <laughs> I'm like. You're you're still go you're still driving, right? She's like, yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, hopefully, we'll have a good day though, getting ready to go into this work and get it, get out. So, get in, get out. That's what I want. Get in, get out. Um, try not to, try not to, you know, make it last any longer than it has to, because nobody really wants to be at work. Let's let's just be honest. Nobody just said, hey, I want to go to work today. Nope. Said no one ever. If I had to choose between going to work and going to the beach tomorrow, I mean to the lake tomorrow, I'm going to the lake. But I have to be here. So, so whatever. So I don't get my two day vacation and I don't get to go to the lake tomorrow. So, not really cool, but anyway, let's go to work and I'll see you guys in a few. Lately, I've been hard to reach. I've been too long on my own Everybody has a private world Where they can be alone Are you calling me? Are you trying to get through? Are you reaching out for me? Girl, I'm reaching out for you Cause I will never go down any other way. Hey guys, I'm off from work. I took a small napsy poo and then woke up and now it's, uh, I had to go do something. I had to go to a little meeting thing and do that. And now I am going to the hospital. Why you ask? Because my sister is in the ER. And I have no idea what's going on, but I had to go do this first. And now I've got to go take care of family matters, family business. So my sister and apparently my nephew are both in, in the ER with something about having to have a blood transfusion and surgery. So I'm heading there as fast as I can right now. So uh, I hate that I had to wait this long, but I had to go do that other thing real quick. Uh, so let's go get it and figure out what's going on. I'll keep you guys updated, but if you don't hear much from me, probably busy with all this stuff so um you know if every anytime your family members or family or anything close to you is in the hospital you gotta you gotta take time out of your schedule out of your busy life to go figure out what's going on be there for support and figure out what you can do to help i mean there's nothing you can do you know physically you know other than being there that's the biggest part you can do physically like you can't sit there and heal them or you know, operate or anything, and I mean, unless you're a surgeon, then probably still wouldn't let you because you have emotional attachment, and it's probably not a good idea for you to operate in that kind of situation. However, I'm rambling, but let's go figure out what's wrong with my sister. I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so I went and played some basketball. Uh, I just went and shot outside on the outside courts. Didn't really do a whole lot. I could not make a shot. I was, uh, you know, like to ten percent, if it that. It was terrible, but. Uh, I want to have a little to whom it may concern session. Uh, I want to talk about something that's been heavy on my brain and soul and whatnot for the past couple of days. Um, here's the way I want to put this. Um, I'm going to title this respect. Because when it comes down to it, respect is the thing that really makes or breaks someone's attitude toward you, themselves, 
and the entire group of people. Whether it be work, school, church, friends, family core, whatever it is, respect. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, if you're going to tell people what to do and, you know, expect them to follow you and uh, abide by your rules and uh, ex and you you expect them to do what they're supposed to do you shouldn't call them out in front of God and everyone else because when it comes down to it respect for that person to pull them off to the side and say hey you know why did you do it this way you're why or you know uh, can you do it this way or uh, we need to talk about this or that you know there's a problem with what you're doing and we need to I need to talk to you about it and you know act like a man or a woman or a decent human being about it don't just go out and call out someone and you know make them feel like just terrible because they're being called out in front of their peers. Don't do that to someone. If anything, that's not going to fix the problem. It's going to make them mad at you and not respect you. Why? Because you didn't respect them enough to have the common courtesy to not call them out in front of their peers instead of just blurting it out in front of everyone and embarrassing them. And they don't feel like they can trust you at this point. So what you need to do is take this person respect them you have to give respect to earn respect and you earn respect by giving respect that's the only way that happens so respect your peers respect your co-workers respect your friends respect your parents respect everyone that you come in contact with if you don't they won't respect you back and then when you need them to respect you they're not going to why because you didn't respect them. Just a little thing that I've been wanting to say, and there it is. Respect your peers. But I'm going to sit down now, edit and upload the vlog, relax, chill, enjoy my night, get a milkshake. I'm happy. Hey guys, it is late. I got the vlogs edited and uploaded, caught up with. Got to FaceTime with Brittany for a little bit. So it is time for me to go to bed so it's uh 1 30 in the morning i don't have to be at work till 11 so it's fine but uh let's get some sleep that's much needed sleep so let's go ahead and get that bedtime so i'll see you guys in a few in the morning so tomorrow yeah got it so good night guys peace out